Yo, what's up guys, how are we all doing today? As you can see, we have a clue squad on our inventory. It's not an easy, not even a medium, hard, elite. It's a fucking master clue skull. Yes, a new clue skull update, a step up from the elite's really, really high requirements, and a bunch of new items have been added to all of the tier clue skulls. Like, God knows, like a fucking bucket helm gold trim. Stuff like that. So yeah, today we're gonna be attempting the new Master Clue Skull. And also, you can see my inventory. I have an Impling Jar. But what the hell is that odd-looking thing? It's actually a lucky Impling Jar. It is untradeable. It requires 89 Hunter to catch, and it's 10 times rarer to see than a Dragon Impling. Dragon Implings are rare as they are. Never mind a lucky Impling Jar. So yeah, to get your hands on one of these, you need 89 Hunter, and you need to go catch it yourself somehow. But yeah, we have got one. And basically, it contains a random item from all of the tier clue scroll rewards. So it could have third age inside that impling jar. You just never know. Literally, it could be anything. It could be ranger boots. So yeah, we're going to be opening up that today. And hopefully, we can get some really sick reward from this master clue scroll. Because elite clue scroll rewards are sick enough as they are. Never mind a master clue scroll. Because to get your hands on one of these, you need an easy, medium, hard, and elite just to get the Master Clue Skull. You can't really be complaining about a Clue Skull update. They brought the Elites, now it's the Master Clue Skulls. I just love the whole concept of the treasure trails and at the end you get a casket of a random reward. I just love that. But pre-EOC, I remember watching Clue Skull montages and people would get like Sardom in plate legs and they're worth like a few mil a piece, but now they're, they're exactly the same price as rune plate legs. But everyone these days in 2016, the whole of old school RuneScape, everyone knows absolutely everything. Everyone knows the most efficient ways of doing anything. But back then, like I didn't even know what a Clue Skull fucking was. I didn't know how you got it. I wouldn't know how to solve it. But yeah, now you just Google it and there's your answer. You can complete a clue skull in 10 minutes. But still, it's not like a master clue skull is really easy to complete because, yeah, there's loads of new challenges and puzzles and everything. And also, you got to get the easy, medium, hard, and elite to get the master clue skull in the first place. And plus, the really high requirement. I don't want to drag this on too long, but basically, there's some new puzzles such as the light box puzzle, master puzzle box, and the hot and cold which I got three times and I'm absolutely clueless. This is the second day of the Master Clue Skull. I've watched no one else do it, so I'm just going off my Twitch chat. Yeah, I stream for the first time in like a month and whatever information that RuneScape gives me. So basically, you inspect the device and it tells you how warm or cold you are. So it's just your initiative of teleporting around RuneScape and wherever is warm and you gotta find the exact location. And I think it's different for everyone else, but yeah, I got that three times and apparently like this is the worst one to get because it takes quite a lot of time to try and find the load. And there's a new monster to fight, just like the double agents. It's called the Brassican Maid. And I don't think that you can protect against it, but yeah, it was pretty easy to fight. Like I didn't really have any struggles against it. Oh yeah, and there was a three part puzzle for the final bit. I had to go to three different locations to get three different parts, put them all together, and I had the casket. So easy, medium, and hard clue scrolls are really, really easy to get. It's just the elite, you know, you gotta do like lava dragons, Zora, or barrows to get, so that's the only problem there. Eventually, master clue scrolls will be really, really fast to do because obviously there's gonna be solutions for all the challenges and everything to do it the fastest way. However, will it be worth doing overall? It depends, like, how expensive all the rare items will be, how rare they are, and what is the average reward. So we're about to find out what I got from the casket. Am I gonna get a rare reward? Am I gonna get one of the new rewards? Or am I just gonna get a normal loot? We're about to find out. What is it gonna be? Let's go. Boom. Okay, 420k. Not very much for the amount of effort that I went through. We didn't get a rare reward. However, if you guys want me to do some more Master Clues goals, make sure you give the video a like and I'll be sure to do so. But yeah, moving on to the Lucky Implink. Hopefully we can redeem ourselves. Here we go. I, I actually have no idea. I don't, I don't know what to expect from this, but they're really, really rare. So, yeah. Go. 